What's up, everybody? My name is Pearl Tusi, the real black pearl, but I'm sure you already know this, and I know you know the guest I'm bringing on today. But before I get to that, welcome to the Black Rose Kitchen. So good to have you once again. We're making a really special drink, still soccer themed. We're moving on to the PSL right now, and I'm very excited to introduce someone you would never think even supports a team. I didn't know she supports a team in the PSL, but she's here today. She's going to tell us all about it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to to the Black Rose Kitchen, the incomparable, the amazing, the talent, multi-talented, actually, Moosley! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Don't you love the guys on my set? Right. How they hype everybody else? I love it. It's very, very cute. I love hey. it. So let's just talk. So usually, well, we just started, so, but anyway, usually, uh, since I lento to our Mm -hmm. So we not so long ago had Brian Malloy teaching me how to do a goalkeeping moment, mm -hmm. right? Actually, he was just here. They were shooting these episodes <laughs> on the same day. And um, today we're not going to do it after. We're going to talk about it just before, uh, and she's going to let you know what you did. Doing friend, before I tell them what you did, tell them what you did. Oh, come on, guys! Unswenko, bayangazi. Cotton, the best dress. The best GQ, baby. Babe, GQ. I don't know how many people actually have trophies for like just wearing clothes, but I'm that iconic. Hectic. I've got two. I've actually got an SA Style Award and a GQ's Best Dress Award. If I have one, I'm not quite sure <laughs> where it's from. I have one. I have one award from Glamour. But I think it's like that's very cool to see it girly of you. Yeah, it was that, that, it was that era. It was that era. That era. I actually hate that it girl era. Hey, why? Because I feel like, and I, you know this, for the longest time, I always felt like. Like you were like so cool to me because you were not subscribing to that thing and like there was a new age of stars who came along and they didn't and I feel and they didn't subscribe to it and I feel like uh, myself, Mini, Bonang, maybe even Zintle, like a lot of people were just forced into this thing mm -hmm. that we didn't even like we just were happy to be yeah. famous and to be recognized for what we do. That was an inspirational era. You guys you birthed a whole lot of girls after that era. Yeah, we but all wanted it to be damned our if other you look at influencers down. today. Like, just think of the word campaign. Hectic. Boom! The influencers all just want to be that era of it girls. That's like what everybody wants to be. Right Serving now. ambassador. But for me, it hit a lot of parts of me that I wanted to show that I would have my management saying, you can't show that, we're going to lose this client, lose this client. And now it's like, it's completely switched to be yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's like, ah, you guys played us. I feel so played. I don't want to lie. Sorry, I feel super played. Babe. Actually, on behalf of the nation. Because you should, know the real me. We should probably thank your manager. I don't know if the game was ready for all the real. Wow! Oh, oh. <laughs> no, we didn't need that one, my sister. We didn't need that one. Thanks to you. <laughs> and I think I think when Rihanna came out, right? And and she carried on doing her thing and she was swearing that people are sad. It's over. I'm done. That Rihanna your mama, your mama. The bad girl really when she was running her Instagram. Babe. I missed that era so much. <gasps> that was the one. That was the one. Remember when she told that girl, I hate broke bitches. Do you remember that one? Mm -hmm. Who was that rapper's name? She even posted the the picture on her on her Twitter thing, ne? Babe, she posted their both their worth. The one girl's worth and her worth. One was five million dollars. And how do you laugh? I don't have five million dollars. That girl was worth at least five million dollars. Right? She and then hers was like fifty million. And, she, and then she wrote there, I hate broke bitches. Like, I said. So is that your mood on Twitter? I don't say good Twitter. What are you serving them these days, my friend? I'm serving them absolutely nothing. Oh, I love that for you. Yeah. Look no. how you've grown. No, I'm serving them like low-key Beyonce. Sometimes they don't even know it's not even me tweeting. But guys, see Colapo. Yo, you guys punished me too much. But let's focus on why we're here. Okay. All right. So girl, I know you know all about this. Mm-hmm. What we're doing. We've had some nights with this, my <laughs> baby. <laughs> and for me, you are a representation of a powerful black rose. Oh. I love what you do. Thank you for styling. So she styled me today. She even used my color. Oh, come on. Shiny. Shine. You know, I, you know I don't Shine. always dress like this Shine. on my black rose kitchen thing. But look at me right now. Look at you. So shout out to you. So Udumeng is Stella Saike and she styled me today for this particular moment. Mm -hmm. So shout out to you, very nice. I great. feel good. And even my crew was like, oh, okay. yeah. So yeah, yeah well, the it's you. Touch, the baby. babe, it's powerful. Yes. Zinta's loving the moozy touch. Right. I see the moozy touch and sometimes when she's rocking, yeah. how she's moving, it's a powerful touch. Yeah. But she's serving skinny these days. She doesn't need me anymore. When she was pregnant, she was using me because you know my clothes are all big. Oh, hectic. So she was using me, but now she's like, oh, I'm back. 
sexy. Babe, she's coming through with this yeah, she's like, 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 super Her hero bounce vibes. back is like, like oh. her bounce back is wild. Know, hot, Shout out to you, DJ Zinchai. All right, so we're gonna serve chats, but I like to serve chats when we both got a drink in our hands. You know I do too. It, I know you. <laughs> and today, this girl loves this girl loves castle lights. Never. I should have actually put together, I, I need to put together a cocktail where somehow Sib's gonna do that. A Costa Light gin situation. Listen, I will never leave this house. I will be here. I have Costa Light in the fridge right now. Okay, so you can start planning it. This one, so well, let's talk about that. <laughs> but uh, right now, I haven't named the drink. I'm gonna make that your honor. Usually I name the drinks. I come up with really cute names, so good luck. Um, and we're going to make a drink that's dedicated to the team you support in the PSL week here in South Africa. Which team, well it's pretty obvious, but which team is that? You know what, I don't know if it's really support. My mother kind of just like forced me, like you know when you just want peace in the house, so you just do Hectic. My mom is obsessed with Orlando Paris. And your mom is cute, I would support her team too. Bro, she is super obsessed. My dad is queso cheese, my sister's queso cheese, but I just always had to. Mama knows best, you know, so. Hectic. This is cheese, right? This, it's this one, right? Okay, Which one do you want to know? The Chiefs one or the Pirates this one? This one is Chiefs. This one is Chiefs. Is it Swallows? Because no, this is Chiefs. Because uh -huh. I think the both hands might be Swallows. But I know the one hand is Chiefs. Uh -huh. Because Abafa Nabuk Tula no Kolo, Love and Peace. Okay. And then the violent pirates. ones is Pirates, serving Pirates, mm -hmm. serving Dark and deadly <laughs> so but they weren't so deadly maybe the that should last. be the name of this drink but right, dark and deadly yes! I of, love course, it. of course so guys we're here today to make the dark and deadly so is this why you dress me in black girl i'm intentional hectic Okay, so let's make the dark and deadly. I'm obsessed with the name. All right, cool. So I'm going to make one after you because I've only got one proper shaker. Okay. The one, the other one I have is serving the twisting thing and it's just a lot of work. Just like um, Okay, cool. So to make the dark and deadly, you're going to need one shot of this. So that this... deadly. It does look deadly, doesn't it? <laughs> Where's the skull? Dark. See, Orlando Pirates. Dark and deadly, baby. I love it. So serving a little set design moment. <laughs> but this is um, like a charcoal syrup. So what you'd normally do when you love making cocktails, you have a syrup, which is basically one part sugar, one part water, mm -hmm. right? But here we've also added the activated charcoal. Do you know the health benefits of activated charcoal? No, unlock me, friend. I'll even unlock you. It's very cleansing and it like sucks in all the poisonous bad things that are in your body that might be in your like digestive tract or just generally in your body. So it's used a lot for since like ancient times for cleansing. Volcanic ash is also used for the same thing and they have the same type of properties. That's what uh, this. So this is how I normally don't have a hangover. So pretty and so clever. So baby. clever, baby, oh. man. Ish. So we're gonna need one shot of this. So oh. you're gonna throw one shot of this in there, but okay. please throw in one scoop of ice first. Rocks. So that's to chill the drink and to also mix it, obviously, while it's in there. No, no, no put it down. Stay at the ice. So one shot of this. This is one shot. This is a double. So one shot this side. Have you ever made a cocktail before? Yes, I have. Don't remember I used to have that vodka moment, friend. Oh, yes. Mm. This is true. Mm. You said that you're serving, like, I actually just want to open and koi. Like, I ain't got no time. <laughs> but you know, for Pearl to see, I'm making you're this cocktail. All right, so this is just lemon juice. Just straight lemon juice. It balances the flavors in the cocktail. One Especially shot. when you just one shot. Now it's the first time I'm using this. I don't even know if I'm gonna know how to creme de la, no, creme de cassis Ooh. or cassis. I don't know, because it's serving French. But um, it's a berry flavored uh, situation. Obviously the color is really gonna be good for the cocktail that we're making. And the berry flavor is gonna be nice so that you can balance out the sour bits. And delicious. And delish. Also one shot? One shot. No, half, half. My bad, my bad. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I'm let drink. No, you know what? Because so that I don't have to do this again. Let's just double up everything. Do you know what I mean? So that I can do half for my glass and half for your glass. Okay. Is that okay? I'll have a good double up. So one more of this. And one more of this. Since you've already got one shot in there. It was like a very cousin you would see. This is the smarter thing to do. So, Miss Creative Director, tell us what's happening in the creative direction world. Oh my gosh, you know it's the time of the year for us. It's like January in the retail world. It's yeah. mad. Like, tell them, so you're serving drip, you're serving email, you're serving. Yeah, like I'm, I'm a very serious person, you know. People are like, where have you been? You haven't released any music. You can say, obviously, guys, I'm telling you, I'm 
you name it. My you manager actually it. thinks you're hectic in a powerful way. I told I you about you this, me, right? He was just like, this girl should be doing creative direction. Like, at, you know, at that level where we've seen Rihanna go in for Puma or I don't know which one Lady Gaga was doing, but like Pharrell, um, I think he did G-Star. something with G-Star. Who did something with Gap? Was it Kanye West? Yes. Yeah, so like that, he's like, that's where he sees you at a fashion level, friends. Receive, receive. So, receive. But we're already Jesus. doing it because Drip is a powerful brand. Two shots of this, please. So, let's do four. Yes. Two that doubles. This is the satin and it's black, so I thought it would be nice. The bottle is black. This is so delicious. You also serving us creative direction here, my sister. Yeah. With the gin. Am I just? We not? are such bosses. We, like, I would like. We hard. Like, we go as hard. friends, like we really hard. We're so serious, babe. The we thing of so being poor, we're not really like keen on it. No. So, not that. This <laughs> Trending onto the top. Yeah, uh, this <laughs> thing, this thing of, of not being able to live according to my means, whatever those means are, is not my thing. Yeah. So I'm just pushing as hard as I can at my level. Yo, guys, I am <laughs> not, That's not my era anymore. I'm like Rihanna. I've moved on. All right, cool. So we've got all the shots of gin oh. there. We've got the lemon juice. We've got the. Guys, see, even me, sometimes I don't know. Just go to the bottle store nearby. <laughs> I bought this one here at uh, Boulevard Likas. Uh, that's why I buy my Boulevard. Uh -huh. And uh, I found it there, bought it there. Sometimes they might scam you and make you buy an expensive one. This one is serving 80 rand. Look for this one if you want to make this drink. <laughs> cool. Uh, so we've got all the other things in there. We're going to lengthen the drink with some kwedza moment. This is... Lengthen the drink? I'll explain in a second. We're gonna dash it in. So you add all these like powerful flavors, but you always need like, this is like our tonic. You understand? We dash. It basically. Okay. So you lengthen the drink. We are ilula. Ilula is puzo. So we're gonna add this at the end in our glasses. I don't know. Every time I hang out with you guys, you're putting in some shit. Yeah, baby, I gotta do that. Okay, cool. So do you wanna shake? But you have to be. You, you were shaking it at my party last night. Yeah. Did you see the slap of that guy? He was just Man, did you see it? <laughs> and his tongue was like, ah. <laughs> You were also pulling out. Okay, I'm not going to show you guys how I shake because this outfit also won't clap. But sometimes I've spilled all over my outfit doing this. Oh no. So you see, what do you call this? A shaker? A condom. No. The Thing on that side. Oh, condensation. Condensation. Yes. So once the condensation. I mean, I went to private school, yo. Yo, she never let us forget. Mm -hmm. Oh, Miss Benoni. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So once you see all the condensation, tell us how, someone in Benoni. Condensation. Mm -mm, condensation. Condensation. With my sister's good. Do you know my sister's got the accent? Does she have the Benoni accent? My sister! Hectic. Oh, she can't even say dope. Ah, nonsense. <laughs> I'm telling you, she's so funny. So when you see all the condensation, that means the drink is chilled mm -hmm. and it means you're ready to pour the drink into the glasses. So here are the glasses. You are not my dogs pulling up. Okay, cool. So we're using the fancy glasses because I want to see people see your fancy nails. Okay. And do we need to use this? Okay. And we're going to use a strainer. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to allow you to do this. Pull this out. So it's a little bit foamy, but we don't want too much foam for this. Wait, wait. The eyes. So... To avoid the eyes punishing you, you kind of pull this on the side. Mm -hmm. pull. Not too much, so we make sure we both have enough. So dark. Mm. And deadly. It smells really good, like I want to down it. Hectic, not down it. Like refreshing. It's like... not a shot. Yeah, I'm not like shots. I'm wondering if we don't have too much happening. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what i Like, it's just that the guy who teaches me how to make these cocktails, because now I'm also learning. <laughs> He punishes me, And babe. I would like bomb in so into it. Yo. Like, drink, drink when, specialist. Babe, whenever I try and grab the, the ice with my hands, he punishes me. And they believe in ice or something? Yeah, babe. Okay, that should be enough because we doubled up. So there's our drinks. Oh, we still got a lengthen. Yeah, but it's like he said dash. So we'll dash. Okay. Uh, so here's this. This is just regular stony, guys. Just regular, regular, <laughs> stony, nothing fancy. I know people get intimidated by this thing. And so we're going to dash, dash. And then this is how we're going to garnish. Are you ready for this? Uh -huh. So the dark and deadly comes with the black berry. Ooh. So here's yours. We're going to grab. It does look a bit scaly. Mm, right? Mm. 
so I'll be doing this here. Oh, what a wholesome little thing we're doing here, hey? Mm. See, you can serve fruits, serve like a young health moment. <laughs> Just a young one. I'm so impressed. Look at you. And then, because Alain de Power Arts is serving, we already have the black rose inside, right? So we don't need to add more black. So you can grab like a rose petal. Ooh, I punished that one. So fancy. Mm. So, let's move this here a little bit. We kind of want to balance. It's going to float anyway. So you guys can see. And then, have you seen on Orlando Pirates jerseys, they have like a little bit of red. So you can grab a little bit of red. And so, this type of moment. Ooh, not this thing trying to get in. Okay, there you go. You're going to do yourself. Yo! I should have gone first. <laughs> I'll turn the drink around for you. Fred, how do you live with these nails? You can see me living. No, I ain't. You, you can see me living. I only do those nails when I have something really special happening. Like. I mean, I get everything special, my baby. No way, babes. Even my dog is serving a land of pirates. Look at him, serving black and white. <laughs> Beautiful friend. Yay! We did it! Powerful. Mm. Alright, so powerful. This is our drink, guys. Let me wipe here. I mean I'm a little bit OCD. A little bit. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> <laughs> serving a little bit. I hate that. <laughs> okay, so are you ready? Yes. What are we toasting to, my darling? So to being dark and deadly. Oh. Mm. To she you. Is dark. In what we do. Okay. Let's taste it. Oh, are you joking me? Can we just go chill now? Oh, like, what? And how easy was that to make? It's so refreshing. Like, I want to drink the whole thing. Like, immediately. Oh, my God. I would do this also. Like, I just punish with this moment. Mm. So that the berries punish with the moment as well. Mm. Mm. What's the plan for we 2023? Need, we need to make this for the Winston Wild. Ooh. When is the waiting while this year? Oh, no, you should do it. We weren't supposed to do it at my house and then COVID punished us. Ooh. Okay, I'm still happy to. I don't want to do it at Tavi's house. Tavi's house. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to Tavi's house and do the waiting while. No, we can have like a couple of different cocktails there. We need to do the four. What's the party we're going to do? The four 2020, 2022. No, but 2022 is over. No, but we had the perfect numbers. 420. What was the oh, what was the combo of the numbers? It was so dope, though. So, and, and I remember because we two. <laughs> <laughs> we done we done too much, <laughs> and we come up with the best ideas when we're like that. And that's the part. The party was about that. That's so funny. That's so crazy. Wasn't it the time, the date? It was four twenty four twenty. I don't know. We will remember at some point. So guys, that's how you make a dark and deadly. Was that difficult, friend? It wasn't difficult. I wonder. And you know, I like a simple drink. Yeah. Obviously, if you laid out, it's a bit easier. But it was good. It was delicious. I would recommend it. Yeah. I'm going to give you a... Woo! Delicious. A will deliciousness. Mm. Okay. What's the plan for 2023, babe? The plan for 2023 is just to continue to fuck shit up. You know? <laughs> That just, I don't really know how to do anything else. Yeah. But you know, I always start the year with a fast because mm -hmm. it just opens up my mind. And then I plan after the I, I wouldn't lie. I'm not one of those people that like next year, this, I'm going to be doing this. I really just wait for the fast to pass 21 days. Then I make plans after that. But still working at ERA, still working at DRIP. Hopefully going to be back in studio. Yeah. Well, I'm you, living my best life. So you're just doing what you're choosing to do, not what people are expecting you to do with your life. I'm just doing what God wants me to do. Hectic. What does God want you to do? Shine like a light. Hectic, like those girls. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite musician right now in South Africa and internationally? Mm, I don't know. I'm listening to like a lot of really slow jams and stuff. You know, I'm really into like vibes. Scissor, Sir, Mahalia, Snow Allegra. Is it because you're spiraling? Yes. <laughs> 
At least it's not a doll. I was on a doll for a long time. I'm Hectic. so glad I'm done with that. Were you on a doll? Babe, it was bad. Babe, I've never been on a doll, even Woo! when I'm suffering. Friend, there's a song Can called To Be Loved. Hectic. If you're going through a moment right now, don't listen to that song. It's but what if it healed you? It needs to heal you. Babe, Sometimes that... you need to cry, friend. Oh, that one is bad. Okay, so it's not a doll, but that. Locally, I'm really into Blackie. Okay, okay. I feel that. Blackie. I feel um, that. Calvin Momo, loving him right now. Um, you know, I just like hip hop vibes. Oh, Mash Beats, Maglera Dope Boy. Yeah, but you oh. also know everyone. Sometimes you know people we don't know. Like, I meet a lot of new artists through you. Yeah. And I, I, I've admitted this enough times for you to know yeah. I respect that. But a lot of like dope new artists who ended up like really taking it straight to the top, like I've met through you. You really have a powerful eye for like real talent. It says on a text on to now. Auntie Moose. Auntie Moose in that building. You know? You're afraid. You know what I punished with when I was spiraling? What? I, if you know, you know about the spiral. If you don't know, which which spiral? Just ask Zinke. your friends. Zinke and Paul spiral a taboo. <laughs> Do you guys remember that era when they used to wear terrible uh, matching outfits? Terrible! <laughs> you hear that? We were spiraling, yo! We were spiraling, babe. And let me tell you, when my 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 most recent spiral. Okay, I had another spiral, but I didn't really get to really spiral. But you know the the spiral, the spiral, the one. No, the. After Zinclair Spiral. Oh, yes, yes. The yeah. one you were from the yeah. Overseas Spiral. No, the Overseas Spiral. Okay. Babe, that spiral served me um, Rihanna. Okay. Um, what is the song? Not Love on the Brain. Babe! Oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh! I hate that one as well. Yo, friend. babe. I, I hate that, that one. one. And the Sam Smith one. Um, the, the, the No Peace song. Awesome. You say I'm crazy Cause you don't think I know what you've done But when you call me baby I know I'm not the only hey. one Yo. so, so, Too much. Your baby's very hectic. Too much. So, okay, what else? What else should we... We talk about, okay, we were together last night. So this <laughs> is pretty, it's pretty wild. Okay, so this outfit, right? Where is it perfect for people to go to? It actually even matches the drink, what? right? Dark and deadly. Dark and very deadly. I feel like, you know, you just need to have something that's very sexy, but still statement. So if you take off the jacket, she's still serving as hot girl, like I don't try too hard. Mm -hmm. But when you put the jacket on, it's something. I was having this conversation. This with jacket's serving, I'm a star. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you know the fits is fire when it doesn't need the jacket, but when you put the jacket on and it just goes like full. Imagine this it's jacket giving under the lights. It's giving keys. It's giving superstar. It's giving like... I ain't your regular degular. You finished the drink. I mean, I said I was going to. Okay, I ain't your regular degular. No. Because, because also, I'm not. You ain't your regular degular. having degula. a sparkly color about you know? moments. Come it's very, on. very powerful. I, I, like, I really believe in like doing basic, but like to the top. Because this is like just a denim jacket. Mm. But the embellishments, the customization, mm -hmm. the placements, the diamond shining, it's giving. I think I'm a, if I gig on Christmas, I think I'm gonna wear this jacket. Oh, please, can you get It's a, got pockets! Can you. you get a bedazzled Christmas hat too? A bedazzled Christmas hat? Yes. Hectic. Where will I find a bedazzled Christmas hat? We'll make it. Hectic. Okay, let's get it made. Make um, it. I wanted to ask you something now. Oh, Lola will make it. Lola, please, can you make Paul a bedazzled Lola, Christmas please. hat? Lola, please. I need a bedazzled. Oh, this camera's not on. I need a bedazzled Christmas She's got hat. She's got a cap. Something for my head is very necessary. Uh, and then what what would I wear with the rest of it though? Like a full denim look or white or? I think just like, oh, white. It is Christmas, so white, silent night. Red lips. Oh, my baby. <laughs> uh, Are you proud of me, babe? Hey. I, I can wear those green era shades. Yes. So have a very full Christmas look and rock it. Oh, yes, green and red. Yeah, green, red, it's white. A bit a lot like Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is me. That's all Somebody actually said that to me on DM. Who? Who? Uh -huh. Tell me about relationships in this industry for you. Trigger warning. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend, I won't lie. I don't want to act like I get the answers, guys. All I'm just saying is just find your person and enjoy it. Like, just really enjoy it, be intentional, spread love. 
and it's also okay if it doesn't work out. But when, like, I feel like Taylor Swift, like, she got judged. But there's a lot of people like um, Steve Harvey, Lori, Lori Harvey. Yes. Did you hear about her NDA? Hectic. She's got an NDA, my sister, serving these my brothers before Jesus. Like, I'm going to text her now. Sign a lie, NDA. No screenshots. All of them shoot some cute video. It's just for me. Out. If you dare leak any, I mean anything, you're also going to leak one million dollars into my account. Oh, girl. Not leaking a million dollars into you, an that's account. That's why she's so beautiful, that lady. Like, she's got peace. No, babe, this is what, for me, like, fatherhood is so important. Like, having a good father. Yeah. Because you know Steve Harvey taught that girl from the time she was born exactly what she's worth. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what she chooses to do with her situation. As long as she's doing what she wants to do. And she's doing it the right way. Mm -hmm. And she makes sure people respect her. Yeah. Like, shout out to my dad. But, yo, Steve Harvey's part looks like he's powerful. So, yeah. he's powerful dad vibes. No, I wouldn't love My dad also serves a powerful dad vibe. I wouldn't love Really? Yeah. What is he serving? Just very mature, reassuring. Because sometimes, especially with dads, you sometimes feel like, um, you just have to be perfect. Especially if you're like a daddy's little girl, you want him to look at you and just think, oh, that's my baby, she's killing it, you know? So mm. sometimes when things don't go exactly the way you like them to, yeah. you actually feel like sad, dog. you know? It's another day at Pearl's house. <laughs> like, so your yeah, dad is just you serving. just feel sad, you know? And you just feel like, mm, can't really talk to them about this one. But I have realized, I can literally talk to my dad about anything. Mm. It's wild, like umjolo, imali, business, family. It's really crazy. That's been really dope. Yeah, I love it. Ten years in for Muesli. Where's Muesli in ten years? The next ten years. We never have this type of chat, eh? Like we talk about now a lot, and we talk yeah. about what we want to do a lot. But like, I don't think we ever like create. Maybe we should start doing that. Maybe okay, maybe me and you don't, but like or haven't. But like in ten years, where is Muesli going to be or Muesli going to be? Let's speak it into the universe right now. Mm. I think in 10 years, I would have mastered the art of being multi-talented. Because right now, I feel like over the past few years, I've kind of had to just serve TV and then music. And now I'm doing this creative direction in fashion space. Like, I'm going to get to that crazy Rihanna level of just like, it's all happening in one space. I see myself like having buildings in different cities all around the world mm -hmm. and just solving solutions for the entertainment and creative industry Hectic. whether it's like music solutions television solutions creative direction styling but like all in one space have you ever thought like I'm, and i'm only thinking of this now and that's a powerful response by the way but i think that like so i've never thought of this until right now but me and Zintli are serving kids, kind of like some sort of family situation like that involves reproduction. And do you ever feel like any sort of pressure? Like, I don't think we've ever like asked you questions like, when are you having babies? Or when are you getting married? None of us are married. Yeah. Ugh, not that we, not, not married, lack of time. Guys, who's in the chat? Ah, who's in the chat? Who's in the Guys, whoa, 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 guys. Oh, here we go, Zulu lesson, everybody. Yeah. Listen up. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they're married as in like obviously they're intent like they they that's the plan, right? But Fanelugube no Mabo, Fanelugube no Membeso, Fanelugube no no Bondo. Ibo, yeah, yeah, Fanelug Bondo. Okay guys. Am I saying that last one correctly? Yeah, Gubeno Mondo, like there's three things that have to take place after the Lotolo situation before you can be married in Zulu culture. So maybe, I don't know, in murder's culture, what's happening. And also like culture can, even within the Zulu community can maybe be different from whatever. Yeah. But where I'm from, like that's an engagement. In fact, I recently found out that even if like, mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So you still have to go and lobola the child so that the child can be have your surname. Even if it doesn't have to be like a cow, it can be whatever the family decides. So there's a lot, but then again, okay, Zintla's married because she's married and also Come I'm, on, Baba Bongs. Let's respect Baba Bongs. Let's Bums. respect Baba Because he's pulling up, hey? Yeah, he's so nice, eh? We love it, hey, we love you, brother. <laughs> We love you. You can stay, Murda. So sports-wise, what sports did you play in high school or school? Um, have you seen my legs? Netball, obviously. Yes. Have Are those netball seen? legs? Babe, netball girls have the hottest legs. What do you mean? No, sometimes netball girls are just girls. Which, no. which school did you go to? Like, I don't know. White girls have got nice legs. Uh, not all of them. Babe, white girls have got nice legs. 
La was a penoni. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like hockey you get a bit staunch, like you get a bit also tennis is good. Yeah. Um but I played just netball. I played tennis like sometimes to say I did it, but I never made it past like the serving situation. <laughs> like I know. It doesn't like oh you know oh, all she does is serve, baby. Oh, that's all she knows. It's a serve. Yeah, no, I am not into like physical like it's not my thing. If you heard that sports betting makes a lot of money, would you do it? I'm thinking of starting it next year. Because I don't watch a lot of sports, but I, so I feel like my guessing will be a bit better because I won't be like committed to a team. Yeah, there's some cool sports betting things happening. I also like that there's some situations where you can change your prediction in the game. Because yeah. I feel like in Miami, guys, just because I made a bad decision. I mean, good Miami, guys. Like the World Cup final was so hectic. Like the back and forth of that thing was really crazy. I wonder how much money went behind in this betting space. Of a lot of things. And yes. I would have won, babe, because I knew all along Messi was going to mess really? everyone up. I won't lie. I didn't believe in him. How dare you? He's a bit of a choker, guys. What? But I think also the Lord was What do you mean choker? Up, babe, like he's, he, he, he's not dazzling the whole time, bro. Because like, he's consistent. No, he's not consistent. Dude, have you ever seen a goat dazzling you the whole time with yes. that? Like, no. Yes, Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo didn't hardly played in the World Cup. That's when he did. He didn't even score. He didn't score. No. Cristiano Ronaldo. Sometimes didn't he score. went by a whole game without scoring. He scored That's one a goal. That's one a goal, guys. One. Is that true? Just one goal. He went for a few games without scoring. Okay, well he's good looking. He's just cute and he dresses nice. No, Stop it. Rich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Who Messi? 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 So you all about the cuteness, what about the rest of it? Mm, yeah, who else do I like? No, I mean, shout out Missy though, like, bruh, shout out, I'm not even gonna hate on you. Like, you did it, bro, you did it, but, bro. It's really weird, because in, in, in KZN, and I think in this country generally, umundu uyimbuzi, when they can't play. Right? And then now it's like, you're you a goat. Goes. Like, so which one is it? Yeah. Oh, no, to Inkomo. Oh, Inkomo. You actually say that a lot. What's this other word that you said in Cape Town? I was trying to tell Zinta about it, but I thought, Winobu. What's it? Winobu. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> you're untidy. <laughs> I was trying to say it to Zinta. It's like, it just sounds so bad. <laughs> like, no, that's what we say also. Look, DJ Winobu. Like, when the DJ is not DJing, DJing. Like, mm -hmm. when they're serving something weird. <laughs> It's wrong. I, also, I, almost I just say it's wrong, my baby. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's, I think, it from us. Moose, any parting words to you, adoring, loving fans, or just all the women out there who look up to you? Guys, come on. Let's continue to kill it. Let's keep shining our light bright. Let's just be that hill on the city. Please make sure you support my girl, Pearl Tusi. You know, without your baby, Black Rose Gin support era, support drip, support local, just like get in, like you know bosses, you know what my whole thing is right now? I Black can't Rose even, Bosses. I'm telling you, like my Boulevard favorite thing bosses. right now is, I know so many bosses and CEOs, like there's so many people who are just dying for like, oh, Gucci and all these things. I was on Twitter, I am just a Gucci. Like, I'm in Protoss' kitchen, like the boss. Like, I talk directly to the boss. I got the girl on the line. I got DJs on the line, Protoss on the line, like, Bosses. And if you can't create bosses amongst each other, how do you think you'll become a boss? So, all I'm gonna say is shout out to all the Black Rose bosses. Quickly, what do you think of the new packaging? Well, did get a sneak peek. You did. This did is the final. Did get a sneak peek. We yes. might get the screw ons going forward. I'm, I'm exhausted of this. I thing love in the it. Club. So, Pro was actually gonna go with the hot pink, guys. And no, 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 I didn't like the hot pink. You loved the hot pink. No, I did not. Pro! Babe, it was my partner who loved the hot pink. You wanted the hot pink. No, babe, I wanted this pink. You sent us mood boards of hot emojis. Or like, you went in. I was serving different vibes so you guys could help me make a choice. And what was the result? I said choice? this was the most Instagrammable moment. Listen, we make decisions as friends here. We look out for each other. We support each other. So this was a squad decision. A very powerful squad. This, and we this I it. knew was like, we loved I loved this. We love it. I'm proud of you, friend. Thank One you. year. One whole year. One year. Feels like three, but right? it's, it's great. And I just want to thank, our sales are doing so well. Um, our brand is just doing so well. I, I want to just say thank you to everybody out there supporting us. Um, well, me and also supporting Moose and the endeavors she's doing. If you support Drip, if you support Ira, you're supporting Moose, you're supporting Zintle, you're supporting the cow. In fact, you're also supporting Casper if you're doing the Kaneki fame. Root of fame. Root of fame, yeah. So, Karikanuma fame. 
So guys, just take care of yourselves out there. Be a boss. Yes. Be about it. Shine your light. We love you. Be amazing. We mm. believe in you. And I hope you have a powerful 2023. Let's go.